it's uh, recommended for its nozzle deal. Hey guys, uh, let's move on to story number three. And uh, this one is from Open Subtitles. And Open Subtitles hacked data breach affects 7 million subscribers. And they acknowledged the data breach and confirmed that hackers managed to steal and leak email, hash passwords, and usernames. What do you guys have to say about this breach? I think the fact that they still use Comic Sans <laughs> is highly endearing. Anybody you else? You would say it's comical, <laughs> would you? No, just me. All right. Yeah, look, look. in the grand scheme of things, an open subtitles data breach is not exactly like attacking Colonial Pipeline, but it's mm -hmm. your information. It, years ago when we did this, I, I, I I think off the top of my head, I, I would have guessed at least 50% of the data breaches we saw had unencrypted passwords. Hopefully it's lower now, but here we are, you know, we're still grabbing a lot of these smaller sites that you submit your information and you don't know what you're submitting and how they're getting exposed. We, we I think we're seeing hash passwords less and less, which is good because you, you should be using something stronger like Bcrypt, um, more advanced algorithms. Uh, but obviously sites like this are still just hashing. And I'm assuming from what, uh, what I'm reading, it's an unsalted hash that's easily reversed, right? So, you know, basically it's plain text. I find it interesting that the hacker broke in through Telegram. So Telegram, has been incredibly popular with hackers. We are in a lot of very weird telegrams with <laughs> hackers. Very weird. And they post a lot of weird stuff. Like telegram, I don't really know what to do with it because it's incredibly popular. Hackers are almost moving to telegram instead of hacker forms. Um, but it's, it it just it's weird, but hacker went through Telegram to break into uh, open subtitles. So, okay, as as a consumer of subtitles, I gotta say, uh, the article says they didn't change their admin password, which was super low security, by the way. And we find it interesting that they didn't do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I find it Since interesting. Since 2006 or something, uh, when the website was launched. Yeah. I mean, you had at least 15 years to think of a nice password for us, the people who only wanted to hear Batman deliver justice without a, a Mexican accent. Yeah. So shame on you. Shame on you, open subtitles. We find I, it, gotta, uh, I gotta go with that one as well. We find it interesting that when you founded your website, the <laughs> literally could have been born and then by the time you were breached, come up with a better password. I got to agree with that. If I'm doing everything right and I'm, I'm loading a movie and I, and I just want subtitles, I'm entitled to, to have some kind of warranty, you know? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, so I'm reading this article. It says here, I find it interesting that the first <laughs> sentence of the second paragraph says, OSS revealed that they didn't implement robust security measures as cybersecurity wasn't a, such a critical issue back in 2006, blah, blah, blah. So are you saying that robust security measures were just to change their admin password? You can't trust any freemium software out there these days. Oh, that's true. Yeah. 